Today I'm going to show you my first program which I have made in Java NetBeans IDE for my software engineering project. This is the initial window which shows login screen. So you can see when I entered the login ID and password and I should select the level I'm selecting admin level and press login button it shows username is correct and when I press ok it goes or opens another window which is the admin window in this window you can see a table in which names of employee their user id their password their date of birth in sim in all simply we can say that the employee data or info employees basic information is given in this table as you click any where in the table it will show all the data in these text boxes in this way you can click anywhere and it will show the data now you can add edit delete clear or refresh data i can show you one by one how they work first of all delete data you have to select this if, suppose if you want to delete 9 employee id 9 so just click it the all data of 9 will show in this text field then press delete it will be automatically deleted you have to press refresh button in order to refresh the table and you can see employee id 9 is gone now you want to once again add employee id 9 so we already have his information like we yeah, add something in the information and just press the add button if it is saved and once again press the refresh button and you can see the page in the same way you can edit data like this guy here I am editing the data CMO or CFO and I am editing the data edit button press press refresh and you can see here the data is already automatically saved here you can print the table from here all employee table will be printed and when you press the sign button you are automatically signed out you can also search the employee information by entering simple employee id or his name or his surname and now we are signing out once again i want to log in and password and level I want to choose this time manager and I log in username and password is correct so this will automatically show a new window here I want to I have been given the following data in which the pump data of 365 days is given of part 1 2 and 3 their volume flow rate their temperature 
rotational speed, torque and uh, torque is given. Now I want to manipulate this data and make it useful. So I make a program which makes the data useful. Suppose you click the button or click the table anywhere and it will show which of the values are in which region like all the fields are showing green button green light that means all the data are in safe region you can also press down arrow button to change the data you can see here it changes the color of text field if the data is out of range and these scroll bars are also given to indicate the value of the given parameter now you can edit or save new data by entering here or delete new data by entering suppose you want to add a new data 377 377 you want to add and uh, for the sake of simplicity I will make all the data same and save and it will automatically be saved and we have to press ok to see the data I have added now if you want to delete this data you just have to click the table and just delete it and then it will ask you do you want to delete the data you say yes and data will be deleted you press ok and then table will be refreshed now in user input tab if you click any parameter and you enter the value which value you want to see suppose you want to see the pressure 1 between 2 1 to 3 bars between these two days which is starting date to end date and if you press ok you can see pressure 1 will only show 1 2 and 3 which is between 1 and 3 and which is between these days suppose you want to change the date you want to make it 2010 March 19 and press ok then it will show only this amount of data which is 1 to 3 and which is between date 1 1 2010 to 19 3 2010 it will show uh, total availability how many percentage of availability of pump is there now in the company sometimes you want to know the minimum and maximum and average value of all the parameter so this tab shows you all the parameters minimum maximum and average values here so you can see what are the minimum maximum average value now you go to remarks table here it shows the data you have chosen between 1 to 3 and between this date and this date and pressure 1 so it will show the data between these dates and these parameters there are 3 red lights 3 orange light and 42 green lights between these two dates and total availability of pressure 1 is 93 
0.75 you can also click decision making button and you can see this value changes when you click the button you can also plan or click possible action and you can write in this table general comment pump is good and when you press report pdf then the report will be automatically saved in a predefined location in a document tab I've already attached you can attach the data from your computer like which you have previously saved earlier and you can directly attach the data in this document table so suppose I want to attach hell xpx and I want to give the serial number 6 to 8 now I want to give the name new data so you can automatically give the new data and press save button okay and it will automatically show the new data once again if you click this table it will automatically show the table or attached path now by clicking chart button you can first of all we want to know this in the decision making update schedule maintenance and pump is good you want to see that so you can click the report and you can see directly the report this kind of report you can be able to make from the available data I cancel that thing and then I will click the chart button it will show what kind of chart you want to see by clicking I will the bar chart you can see all different parameters <laughs> bar chart excuse me availability percentage graph you can see the graph between all 365 days what are in percentage what is the availability in percentage non availability in percentage or if you want to see the individual graph of the each parameter then you can select any primary parameter and just click ok and it will show the individual graph of each parameter and then and directly click back button it will show this window and you can log out so this is my first software engineering project hope you have enjoyed I will post the new videos which illustrate how I made this project step by step so you should be able to learn it thank you for now please rate comment and subscribe choose